Hello, this is Namco Museum Volume 4 uh, for PS1 played in the emulator. Oh, I should not skip this. This is an intro video. Uh, played in the emulator flycast in Windows. What was that green thing that dropped on the ground? Uh oh. That was funny because that was like the, the Japanese uh, disc design there. Yeah. That was a little Phrygian cap. Seven six fifty. <laughs> what? I don't understand what happened there. For a second, I thought that said Namu. I like. Shamu. So, I I thought I was gonna be playing two games specifically on this compilation, but uh, one of them I don't think I can play. So I'll just basically be playing Pac Land. Um, but I'm gonna check out all the games just briefly anyway. Let's. What should we? I guess we gotta go. Well, we don't have to. But let's go. Let's go do it the old timey way. Oh man, I don't know. I don't like this flickering business on the screen behind the robo receptionist, though. There is a cheat uh, I've read you can do with the robo receptionist. I guess I'd better register. Now, you don't have to register here anymore to get save games working, but um, I'm just going to do it for, you know, tradition's sake. Okay. No smoking in the museum. I'll smoke if I want. I don't want. That's gross. Don't smoke. Okay, so supposedly if you look up and then press X and then look back down, the receptionist changes. Uh, and it didn't... Aha! Okay, so the receptionist becomes human. Or, you know, more human looking, I suppose. So that's an interesting trick. Thanks, Game Facts. And then supposedly, so I guess you have to do it right when Pac Man gives you that little exclamation point. Okay, so then look up, press X, look down, and back to Robot. There's another girl portrait on the left hand wall in the museum. This time it was more of a Disney looking thing than a. Uh, anime looking thing. That's interesting. Okay, Pac-Man, I know. Um, I guess I'll go into these little exhibit rooms. I mean, why not? Okay, this run key is on circle. Uh, what do we got? X room? The heck is X room? The best of Namco. Or is it supposed to be the beast of Namco? Come on. Come on. Uh-oh. I think the best of Namco froze. Uh, yeah, it's not looking good. So... Hmm. Well... The best of Namco... Uh, I, I can't necessarily blame Namco for that, though, because... When I ripped this disc, it had uh, it had some it had some read errors. Oh wait, there's another cheat I got to do. It had some read errors, and uh, they were in the like the last seventy percent of the rip, and that's probably just media stuff. So that could be why that locked up there. 
I mean, if it locked up there, then it's not just media stuff, but... Anyway, um, okay, so there's another cheat. So if you, according to GameFAQs, if you hold down all four shoulder buttons as the game starts up, you get a different uh, opening cinematic thing. This part's the same, but then... Yeah. So this might explain why this rip is twice the size of the other, the previous Namco Museum compilations. So you've basically got this big hidden uh, video file in it. Whoa. They just put a dude in a mask and filmed some whole waves at the beach. I know, I guess this is like an old TV commercial, probably, huh? Well, that made me want to buy it. Okay, this is a little more cool. A little cooler, I guess you, you would say. Oh, now we got some anime stuff going on. Oh yeah, anime the heck out of me. Oh man, he's a surfer samurai. He's got some very large shoulder pads. Or whatever you would call those. Pauldrons? No. Oh man. Oh, that's a weird looking blade, dude. Man, is he in Kiss? Is he an insane clown posse? Oh, he makes a funny noise when he runs. Wait. There's a ninja, too? Well, with a weird axe. Shaky cam. Uh, I don't think that was going to go particularly well for anything there. What the... Oh, man. They went all, uh, giant robo-style. Godzilla-style, or what do you call, what do you call the giant monsters? Uh, whatever it is. Well, that's fun. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna be paranoid about this thing locking up on me. I wonder if I can get into any of the exhibits. Maybe not. Uh. No. I mean, they, they may just all lock up on me now. Uh-oh. Yeah, looks like I'm not going into the museum. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. I suppose I should just buy the Japanese version off the PS3 PS store and dump it, and, uh... That probably wouldn't lock up there, but who cares? Let's just go play games. It saves me from having to go through that. Actually, that's a good excuse. I don't have to visit the rather tortuous museum rooms now, I guess. I guess that's good. That's kind of cool. Pac-Land, look at that logo, those little square black dots. These are the good friends of Pac-Man and Pac-Land. In the Pac-Land. Okay, so what do we got? We got position. 
option config on p oh yeah so you got all these different um control configs you can use a is i think basically how it's like how the uh how the nes version works which is that you you hit one button to well or two buttons in this case to move left a different button to move right and then you waggle the stick for jumping and stuff now i'm i'm just using this with my dual sense controller right now which we'll see how that works once i get to the springboard because once you get to the springboard you gotta waggle like crazy to to get lift off and get over the swimming pool and uh I think the first time I was messing around with this game with the dual sense, I couldn't waggle fast enough. My waggle was too slow with the dual sense. Uh, but we'll see. So I'm a, I'm a little unclear here too, because like, what would I hit? Can I hit start? I guess you just have to let it time out if you don't want to adjust that. So this does look much better than the... Uh, so I'm using like circle to run to the right and then just tapping the D-pad uh, to jump. You guys in your jalopies. I get, do I get a little points for that? Uh oh. Can just make sure I got the directional button mashings going on here. They're bombing me with their own ghostly babies. Oh, you guys are in trouble now. Oh, I jumped too high. Uh, what? What was the flower? I just grew a flower. My footsteps grew flowers. I'm like a god. I guess we already kind of knew that. Pac-Man's a godly being. Oh, heck. There goes my hat. They slew the god Pac-Man, the golden god. They get UFOs, so I want a UFO. All these the stumps. Oh, whoa. I got that cherry and three more cherries appeared. That I've actually run through here a few times testing things out, and that didn't happen before. Not that I noticed. It's weird how parts of them show through the tree trunk. Neat. Break time. Time to go to the church. So it definitely looks better than the NES version. The sprites are so puny in the NES version. The NES version's a lot of fun, though. Uh. Oh. Oh no. Oh shoot. So, on the NES version I was kind of save scumming to get through. I don't think I really want to save scum on this. Oh, okay, wait. No, insufficient waggling. I tried moving my hand to a different position to get some rapid waggle going, but... Can't do it. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna have to pause the recording and go set stuff up for my arcade stick. Hang on. Okay. I got my stick going here. Uh, let's go. Actually, I'm not sure what my buttons are. <laughs> Okay. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. That's good. All right. We're on one. Oh. Shimmer, I guess that's a V-Sync thing. 
and V-Sync off. Oh, oh, you guys are in trouble once I get this worked out. Where are they falling? Ah! Uh, okay. Perry comes out of his hat. Yeah. We're jamming. Oh, oh geez. This is a swarm of... Oh, boy, that was close. Yeah, they make little UFO sounds. I should just be jumping over all those guys. I think you actually get points for doing that, probably, too. Oh! Wow, so it just puts him, like, wherever. Wow. Oh. <laughs> no, I shouldn't be jumping like that. Arg. Revenge. She'll be mine. Uh oh. Keep thinking they're gonna bomb me here, but they don't. The momentum is really interesting in this. Feels pretty good, really. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh no! Do I have to keep... Oh, maybe I just have to keep pumping to the right button as well. Yeah, that's all it is. I could probably do that with a pad. It does feel more fun to play on a stick, though, I have to say. Get all sweaty and stuff. Hey! Super tall fairy lady gave me glowing boots. Now you go back. What I recall from... Well, my notes. Uh, saves coming through. Ooh. The NES version. Yeah, Waggling's on the stick is probably the way to go anyway. Is, um... Oh, wait, I can, like... Oh, shoot. Well, I could... <laughs> Super duper quadruple jump or whatever. Well, heck. Gosh, this game's pretty brutal. I probably would have to save scum to get anywhere, really, but what if I just play it a lot and get good at it? Is that so impossible? Ooh. Yeah, you better put your hands up. They got little fedoras on there. They're like gangster ghosts. Uh. Oh, I could have got the tiny little ghost. Oh, there's a creepy looking ghost creeping up on me. Ah, oh, God! That's brutal. Brutal pa pattern. Those two. I guess the ghost's movements or positions seem kind of randomized because they didn't do that the previous time through. That's really interesting, actually. I like randomized stuff. Games. I don't like having to memorize. I don't like the feeling that I could, or that I have to beat a game by memorizing patterns. But then again, if it does stuff like that, uh, it's just brutal. I'm not such a fan of that particular formation. Ooh. Give up. Oh man, this game is tough. 
Yeah, take a break. It's because you get all sweaty doing all this lag money. Lagging and button slapping. These cherries just appearing on cue. Super duper. Oh. Gotta get 80k just to get a high score. Ah, I'm so bad at this. Come out, giant fairy, give me them boots. Thank you. So yeah, so now I can like quadruple jump. Triple jump at least. Wait, what was that thing in the sky? Creep ghost is creeping on me again. Oh, I gained a pack. Oh, now they're bombing me. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh no. <gasps> Ooh. Ugh. Can't take this. Can't take this pack excitement. Do I gotta keep these magic boots forever? I can't escape from magic boots back. If I could get a magic hat, what would that do? It's Pac, uh, Ms. Pac-Man and Baby Pack. So, they replaced them. Amku is actively erasing them from history with, and replacing them with generic characters. Oh, what is that? These ghosts phasing in is creepy. Oh, the mini bus ghosts are cute, though. Ah, what? Our double decker bus. I, dang. Purple houses. Purple windows. What's a purple going on here? Well, I don't have the magic boots, but I did die. Like, if I hadn't died, would I still have the magic boots? Could I just save scum through the game with magic boots? Oh man, cool desert. Oh, uh oh. <gasps> oh man! That pink ghost, like, came right back down. Well, I got 40k. Beow. The good friends of Pac. Wait, wait. Oh shoot. Uh, wow, I failed. I failed at name entry. I was hitting the right button. I guess that was a mistake. Oh dear. Uh, okay. Ah! Well, Packland rules, and this is definitely a better version than the NES version. The NES version's good doesn't stack up graphically. So it's funny because when you leave a game, you don't go back to like the, the main menu, the, the title screen menu, you don't go back to like the, the museum. You get this little pop-up window and like that didn't happen in um, Namco Museum 3, which I just played in the previous episode, uh, when they introduced this sort of pop-up uh, in-game menu. So, maybe they were just pushing the thing harder. Maybe they just figured this was less loading time. So, I guess let's go through the rest of the games. I'm not... I don't think I like the rest of the games. Or they're just not things I can play, I guess I should say. Wait a second, did I get the resolution right? Uh... uh no. Well, 
let's just pretend I got it right, I guess. Oops. Well, this game is kind of skinny uh, display. Uh, okay, new game. Oh, yeah, so the problem here is, uh, well, hey, I'm using arcade stick, but you, um, L1. Uh, well, I'm also, is that? Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, I use the face buttons to move the thingy around. Uh, kind of, how do I move it up? Which one goes up? Oh, well. So yeah, this game is actually like a two-player game, and I guess they let you kind of play it one player by using the face buttons to move one the player two character, and uh, that would be a little easier for me if I was on the pad still. Ah. It's, I guess it's supposed to be the sequel to Tower of Draga. You've got your Draga guy there. Got nice music. What the heck are these things? Like, why you can't just play one character? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that one goes up. have to get a key to go in that door or something. Nice blows. Look at these goons. It's a key. Wait, is there a door down here? Yeah. Are we just not gonna go in? Duh. What the heck? Okay, well, fun, fun game. Lots of good times had by all. Oh. Oh. And this one maybe you can just use both at once? No way. I thought I was going to be playing this. This has a different name in Japan. They like renamed it for the US release or whatever. I don't remember what the Japanese name is. But in the West it was dubbed the Genji and Heike clans or something. Man, that was real hard to read. And I thought it looked kind of interesting. I thought I was going to, you know, like do my usual platforming saves come through it, but. The problem is, it's really flashy. I mean, there's lots of flashing effects. And, uh, that's not so... I don't like... My eyes don't... don't... Ah! Don't always deal with flashing effects very well, and I don't want to get a migraine, so... Oh, hello, hell. You got this goofy sword slash... Ah! Yeah, look at this joint. Oh my gosh. 
That didn't seem to go so great. Oh yeah, take that spider skull. Those are, that's kind of a crazy design. Like, the design of this is wild. Like, have these people even seen a video game before? Or were they just... The artists were just like, yeah, this looks... This seems like it would be cool. Let's just do this. Uh... I don't know what's happening. Am I getting hurt? I, I must be getting hurt. I have no number on... Oh yeah, I only have one candle left. Probably not good. Oh, the candle's burning slow. Ugh. Oh, I hit the gate? The gate killed me? Alright, well... What the heck? Oh, oh no, I made it. So yeah, there's these, like, sort of side-scrolling giant... funky looking swordsman stages, where it's kind of like that Taito game, Gladiator or whatever. Except you're a weird samurai guy. This part isn't so flashy. Oh, I flashed. Why is my sword bent? That's... Oh man, that's a crummy looking thing. What are they doing here? Yeah, give me the candles. I guess I made it. I mean, it doesn't even look like you reach the end and then, oh yeah, then it's got top-down things. Actually, this sprite looks a lot more professional. Dang it. What the heck is that? It's coming out of a puddle. Oh, that's not, what the heck? Ah. Not going great. Didn't give me any health or anything, did it? Okay... I guess you make it to the row of gates and that's the end. Did I get full health? It's, it's a lot of territories. Oh, now we're... Oh, jeez, and it's just like... Gladiator. Ah! Oh no, is it Taiga? Ah! I'm gonna stop trying to do accents. It's, this off is really insulting. It's terrible. Come on! What is happening? I don't feel good about this. I guess I murdered a man. Oh, Tiger. Hey, my sword's not broken anymore. Wait, what? I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> oh man, hi frog. Oh. I'm just a murder machine now. I can't stop it. Oh, a oh, frog tried to get me, but I made it to the gate. I gotta stop playing this. I think it's bad for me. Okay, these are the flashy parts. Oh, that's how you get that. Oh my gosh, what the... Okay, okay, we're not, we're not gonna play that part. Well, that's, uh, that's a wild game, and if your eyes, if you don't get migraines sometimes from flashing stuff, you might want to check it out. Whee. Yeah. Is there an option to turn off flashing stuff? That game's wild, man. Okay. Uh, so Assault, I used to love Assault in the arcade. You had these two big, you know, twin stick, like, like, uh, tank control controls, basically. That was pretty rad. And, uh, just the scaling and rotation was pretty sweet. 
back in the day, you know. But I'm not really into, like, military shooting guns stuff now, so... Also, I think it's got some flashing. Eh, probably not so bad on the flashing front, but just the shooting part and military stuff, I'm not... Oh, there's a flash. Yeah, okay. So... I don't know how this is going to work on an arcade stick. Probably not great. Uh... Yeah, actually, because how would I rear my tank? Oh, they customized the pop-up menu, even with sounds. Particular to this game. So... Looks like you can rotate the screen if you want to. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Oh, moving with the face buttons. Ah, it's not going to work great. That would probably work better. My tank. So yeah, I mean, the rotation in the arcade was... I remember it being just about this smooth. I think this came out on Arcade Archives. Uh, like on PS4 and stuff. But this version's pretty smooth, really. So what did it say about, like, L1, R1? Oh, there we go. Uh, that's confusing. What is happening? I should really put the dual sense back in if I was really going to play this. Okay, so I, I hit L1, R1 and pulled back on the stick. Those bounce pads where you shoot way up and drop bombs, basically. I mean, it's a cool game, I just, uh... It would be... It kind of needs, a, like, a big screen and big sound effects and big speakers, I mean, and... Um, the dual stick input would be good, of course. You can probably, probably if you have a... Like a DualShock style controller, it just uses that. Naturally, I would think. I suppose I don't have a... Like a side roll. Well, I probably do, and I just... Oh yeah, there it is. How did I do that? Oh. That's just... Oh, time's running out. It's just like L1 or R1. I didn't side roll. Alright, well, so that's that's that game. I'm not gonna really play it, because uh, it's not my thing anymore, but... Pretty good game if you don't mind big death and destruction. Uh, Ordine is a horizontal shooter, I think. Yeah. Are we back to... No, still not filling the screen. What the heck? I forget if... Whoa. It's a weird looking guy. Rainbow colors. Okay. 
that. So it's shot and bomb. I mean, little, little lob bombs. Uh, nice, colorful graphics, and really, like, this shooting is abstract enough that I shouldn't mind it. What I mind more here, I suppose, is that there's some flashing uh, hit effects. The old floating store. The space in. Uh, I have 3,000 crystal. I could get a Vulcan. Okay. Wow, her voice was really high pitched. The Vulcan's just crushing it. Take that, flying tortoises. Well, that was a thousand crystals right there. Ah! Oh, what? Oh no, I'm killing flying. What? Oh, that. Bullets are tiny. Guess I lost my Vulcan. Hmm. Typical. Uh, oh, because I took out the whole group. We see old Gradius type. Oh no, it's not, because I missed that one guy. What the heck? Just kill a certain one towards the back, I suppose. Probably that one I missed. Oh shoot, it just zooms off. <laughs> It accelerates off. Okay. So I kinda got a captive audience three-way. What is this after thing? After? Well, I'm curious about what that means. Oh my gosh, that needs a rear shot. That's a weird looking scaling effect thing. This, this is like a boss. Ah, so here's some flashy hit effects. Oh, that guy was a wimp. Look at that rotation. See ya. game's a little... It's a little goofy. I say to somebody who's super into, uh... Fantasy Zone 2, but... Fantasy Zone 2 just feels a little more solid as a schmuck, but... What is this? It just looks goofy. Oh, and like Fantasy Zone 2, the weapon, the guns just wear off after a while. That's one of my least favorite parts of Fantasy Zone 2. They, they've copied the, the bad part. Uh, it's a bad thing. What is that? What is that design? That's a gun turret? Just a flashing, blurry blob? I guess it's easy to rotate. Yeah, the shooting action is not the best here. It's just kind of unimaginative, really. It looks nice, but the actual action is really mediocre. Super derivative. Like, you'd kind of think Namco would come up with something a little more original. This is just like a hodgepodge. Oh, that's a little different. It's just like a hodgepodge of other companies' games. Wait, I want to get the... You only get one? Oh. Why give me... So much money then. Maybe I just hit the wrong button. Mm -hmm. Well, now that thing's sped up. I keep thinking that's a power up. What? Oh. Here goes my stuff I bought. 
Oh, what? What the? Is that a woman? Oh, wait. Oh, I hit the thing. The butterfly wings. Okay. Why did I start making this annoying sound? Pictures aren't super illustrative of what the thing you're buying does. Or I guess it is, but I you know, wouldn't have understood that or expected it. Wow. Wow. Oh. Okay, that sucks. No more flashy, flashy. Oh, super flashy. Arg. What? Okay. Game over. Oh, it's a turtle. Flying fire turtle. Well... I can't say I'm in love with that. I mean, this is kind of slow movement. Default slow speed movement. It's not super great. And just, it just feels goofy and kind of, well, super generic in terms of the action. So, yeah. can you even get back to the title screen? So I'm sort of annoyed that my old disc, which I don't think I ever had trouble with in the actual PlayStation 2, it's just I couldn't rip it clean, so I guess I can't go into the actual museum rooms, but, I mean, I guess that's probably for the best. Um, so I guess I'm keeping this on my hard drive yeah, for Pac-Land, basically. Because Pac-Land's pretty sweet. The other games in here are not really my thing. Revenge of Ishtar. And actually, there's only five games on this one. The others before this had at least six, didn't they? I mean, back in the day, I would have been super pumped to have a home version of Assault. And Genji and Heike Clan seems... I mean, I would probably have fun with that if it didn't have the flashing, bright stuff going on in the, in the tiny side-scrolling bit. Pac-Land, I didn't... Pac-Land I didn't like back in the day, but now I'm totally into it. Or, well, I'm into it. So, uh, I love the little ghost jalopies. So I basically like completely reversed what I would have been into as a kid. All right, well, that was a bit of a uh, tour through Amco Museum Volume 4, minus the museum exhibits, which I guess uh, I was not able to dump from my old disc correctly. Oh well. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later.